And I have an exhortation for Melanie and for anybody else that has ears to hear. When I was 12 years old, I got to watch, um, we all at my age would watch the rocket ships take off on our TV set. Oh, I loved rocket ship day. And that Apollo 13, I watched it take off. 56 hours after it took off, Melanie, it was 200,000 miles from the earth. 205,000 miles from the earth. And when it was that far away, it had, a, it had an explosion on board. Amen. One of its oxygen tanks blew. You have to have, we have to have oxygen to breathe. Amen. And there, one of their oxygen tanks blew up. And everybody thought that we were going to lose three astronauts in space. Amen. If you've ever seen pictures in space, it is black. It is very black and it is very empty. Very black and very empty. And they had no one to help them. No one could get there. They were alone in that blackness and that darkness and that emptiness that God was there. Amen. God was there in the blackness and in the emptiness. And I watched, all America watched God bring three astronauts home in a wrecked spaceship. Amen. It was a mess and God brought it home. God is in the dark. If you will turn with me to Psalm 139, I'm going to begin reading verse 7. Where shall I go from thy spirit? Amen. And whither shall I flee from thy presence? Yes. You think you can run from God, huh? <laughs> you can't. It says, if I, um, if I ascend up into heaven, that's where they were. We called it the heavens. Yes. Space, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, Behold, thou art there. Do you know Jesus was in hell for us? Yes. And he was in the blackness. And he was in the lowest part of the earth. And he says in Psalm 88, he says, Will thou show thy wonders in the dark? And you know what? God did. Amen. God did. God was there in the dark and God raised Jesus from the dead. Let's go on. It says, if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me. Do you see God will hold you with his right hand? Do you know who God's right hand is? That's Jesus. Amen. Jesus is God's right hand. And Jesus said, I will never, never leave you. And I will never, never forsake you. Amen. All right, it says, even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me. You know that word cover is overwhelm. Surely the darkness shall overwhelm, cover me. But look what God says. Even the night shall be light about me. Amen. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. Do you know God has no difference between the light and the dark? Amen. Do you know he created them both? Yes. Do you know he lives in both? Amen. You know he resides in the dark just like he does the light. There is no difference difference between light and dark with God. Amen. We don't ever have to be afraid. And even in our darkest hour, Thank you, Jesus. God is there. Amen. And like Terry Brown sings, God on the mountain and God is in the valley. Yes. God is there. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, God is there and his right hand, Jesus, will hold you. Hallelujah. Not be far away, hold you. Amen. You don't ever have to be afraid of the dark. Hallelujah. 